Welcome back to the channel. It's another exciting day here in eastern North Carolina. We may want getting some rain some point this afternoon because, well, it's sweltering hot out. So sweltering, in fact, I went out and bought this snazzy new, like, super wicking, moves sweat away from your body, dries instantly shirt. It feels weird. I'm used to wearing just regular cotton t-shirts, but today I'm wearing this, this, this thing here, so. I don't know, we'll give it a whirl, we'll see if it helps me uh, not get heat stroke, because that's important. And as you can tell, I'm not wearing the straw hat today, because, well, it's not really sunny out. The sun will peek in and out, but if it gets too sunny, I'll throw the hat on. In the meantime, I'm today's video, we're going to, well, I have, I'm going to, not we, I'm, I'm going to turn around and finally try to set up my water retention system. So let me show you what I've got. I mean, do you even call it a water retention? Maybe water capture system. Water capture system is better. Here I have a uh, container. Looks like a wooden barrel. It's not. It's got a couple of uh, attachments here. We have a spigot and another one down there for a hose. And it's right next to the gutter. So I'm going to use one thingy here to attach it to this. And I'll show you that in a little bit. Let me show you the other one. Over here at the back of the garage, I have another container very similar. It only has one uh, downspout or sp uh, spigot there. They both have overflows, so if the barrel gets too full, water will flow out. And this one is also next to a gutter. Now I'm going to use two different systems to try to capture the water into these, and I'll show you that when we get to that point. But let me show you the first. The first system I'm going to do, I purchased from Gardeners. And it's called a downspout diverter. It's a pretty little box. Um, if I remember, I'll put a nice picture here or I'll put a link below. Uh, it's a box. As I knock stuff over. It's a box with a tube on the inside and then a tube here. And essentially what you do is you cut your pipe, your gutter pipe. It's going to go in here. This there you can see, I don't know if you can see that, holes to mount it. There you go. Holes to mount it to your house, so I'll be doing that as well. Because this is metal, so this is a little heavy. But your uh, where you cut your pipe, top half comes in here, bottom half will go right up against here, and this tube will go into your rain barrel. That's going to be a whole nother thing. When the water fills as it comes down, it's supposed to fill up the box, and then rain water will go down the barrel. If it starts to go too much or overflow it will go into the tube and down the rest of the uh, downspout. That's the theory of how this works. And this is the main component. Now I've already attached the hose. The hose doesn't come attached, but I figured let me attach the hose first. And it's a good thing I did because it's a little tricky. First you have to take off the little washer piece at the end of the hose. You have to fit that to the um, box. And then I put, I decided to put the hose in now. This way it's easier to work with uh, when I get it up there and mount it as opposed to me trying to move and uh, you, you, you get what I'm saying, I hope. If not, leave a comment below. <clears throat> I have to go see if I have another part. Real quick note, FYI, this is not a how-to. I'm an idiot. So, but following the look at the instructions and deciding what to do, here's what I'm doing. Now, in an optimal world, I think the, the barrel would be over here, but I wanted it to be up against the house on over here. So I'm going to, I made a line already over here. So I'm going to cut that and I made a line up here and I'm going to cut that. So basically I'm taking out almost looks like about a four inch chunk of the pipe. This will sit here. It'll get mounted to the house. This pipe will sit inside here a little bit. So life will be good there. And then I've already mounted the rubber grommet that I need for the end of the hose into the barrel. They say do it lower, but I'm gonna do it higher. What do I know? I'm an idiot. But I'm thinking if you do it high, it'll just fill up, and then once it gets to the top, life is good. I want this barrel full. Theoretically then, this will arch around like so, and I'll tuck that in, and then, yeah, that should be good. I'll cut the hose to length, and this should work fine. So let me get my saw and make a cut. Time to test fit.
that's pretty spot on that works so it's secured to the house yeah that's that's secured so it's just good the downspout's coming in what I may wind up doing is maybe taking a little bit of caulk and just putting it around the base here dressing it up cleaning it up a bit but it's not bad now for the hose they say trim it to fit I'm not going to throw this extra bit out in case I need it for the future here's my cut end Ah, oh, I just pushed the rubber grommet in. Let me clean up the top here and we'll fix that and then I'll show you what it all looks like. Okay, so I feel a couple of drops now. So I'm gonna do this real quick before it starts raining and my camera gets wet. Diverter's in place, screwed to the house. Uh, grommet's in both uh, the barrel and the diverter hose going in. If I had to do this again or do a do-over, I would actually lift this a little higher so there's more of a even drop to the line, but I think that water pressure and water will do its thing and get into the barrel. I'm gonna move into the garage. So as I was saying, it's raining out now. I think this just might be a passing drizzle, at least I hope so. Although, now's a good time to test out the, the rain barrel. Maybe I should get some of my tools out of the rain. Okay, so again, that was the gardener supply rain barrel. And I don't know if you could tell them but it is raining behind me. It doesn't seem like, it's not like a downpour, it's just sort of like a light drizzle, fair drizzle. Either way, that's gonna delay me doing the other pipe. But for you, it will be no delay, because like this. Now this next one is gonna be, sorry, bug attacking my head. It's gonna be different, because I'm gonna use a different system, one that I actually came up with, but it's probably not that all that original because it's really hard to find good, inexpensive water diverters. So what I'm going to do with this one is, I'm gonna cut the pipe like up here. I'm gonna take the elbow from the bottom because the barrel's all the way over here. I'm gonna take the elbow. I'm gonna put it attached to here, I think. Mm, maybe not. You know, now that I think about it, hold on. See, what I've got is these things, and this is there's two of them, and it's um, just a ru rubber, rubber? It's a plastic bendy spout. And I was thinking about having the downspout come out, but I think it's going to come out too far, and then my bendy spout will do a weird thing. So maybe I just attach this direct, and then have it go directly into the barrel. You know what, I have to cut the pipe anyway, so maybe that's what I'll do, and if I don't like it, I could always change it or come up with something different. Hold on to this for something in the future, maybe. Well, there you go. It's a bit ghetto, but the principle is there. And I think eventually I want to put another rain barrel next to this rain barrel to have the overflow from this rain barrel go out. In the meantime, because this sole gutter is going to come down into this rain barrel, this rain barrel will fill up eventually. But let me show you. There's an overflow diverter. And all the way down here is just a plastic base with concrete. So the overflow water theoretically will pour out onto the concrete and then out onto the lawn. It's basically the same as going down the downspout and shooting out onto the lawn, which is what it was doing before. But now, at least now, I can capture this. I might, I'm going to tweak this and play with this for sure. I keep cutting my head off there. I'm sorry about that. Anyways, I will probably wind up adjusting and tweaking this further. I'm not sure if this is going to stay in place. Uh, should I put a bracket here? I have the bracket from the bottom of this bottom section of the pipe. I could have put it there, but then and maybe zip tie it. Do they make white zip ties? Because that would be pretty cool, because that would hide the pipe. So, but it's screwed to the top up here, and I just have it sort of resting here for now. I don't really think it's gonna go very far, but again, I'll, I'll monitor and adjust it as needed. But theoretically, once these tanks get to a point where they're, they're pretty full, I can start drawing water from them, obviously. I will, um, you know, use the water to, uh, to water the plants 
and that will help lower my water bill. Not that my water bill is extremely high, but you know, we got water coming from the sky. So why not collect it if you can? And I have enough gutters on this house. We'll try, we'll see what happens. And if I forget, hopefully one or more of you remind me in the future to give you a status update on the rainwater collection system here. If you have any suggestions for what I should maybe try other than this ghetto pipe, or if you have any other thoughts, please leave those comments below. I'm always open to suggestions. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just kind of winging it. Sorry about that. Had to get out of the sun. And actually now it's kind of beating on the back of my neck a little bit. I think it's bouncing off the concrete or something. Blah, 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 blah. Anywho, I want to give a thanks to uh, any, everybody who's left comments in my videos recently. Thank you very much. Comments are always appreciated. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I want to hear more from you guys. I mean, this, there's 128 subscribers. There's more than that watching the videos all together. If, you, if you're wondering where the Rose Garden Project is, it's coming. I, I trust, it takes time to burn that grass off. And I'm not rototilling that ground because it's solid clay and then it, it's, it takes time to burn the grass off. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch my other Rose Garden videos. There'll be more coming. I do have to get my roses planted. We're gonna be getting into August, which is not when I wanted to plant my roses, but say la vie. Uh, just means that much water. I also have an idea to help the roses through August and September when it's when it's still just incredibly hot. I'm thinking about putting up shade cloth uh, on the fence that's going to be behind the roses. You'll see when I get there, but hopefully that'll provide some afternoon shade for the rose bushes and any other plants that I plant over there, which will give them a break from from the uh, brutal sun. Uh, there's not much I can do about the ambient air temperature, but if I can get the sun from beating on them, that would, I think, help drastically. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, if, uh, feel free to leave comments below. Like I said, I, I want to hear from you guys. What do you think? Am I doing something wrong? Uh, are you excited to see another part of the project? Where am I with the flower garden? Any question you want to ask, please leave them below. And... If you haven't subscribed to me on Instagram, go ahead and go over to Instagram, give a subscribe. I, I try to post up pictures there that you don't often see here on YouTube. Try to keep content a little different, something a little fresh and exciting. Whew, what am I missing here? Ah, uh, yeah. I think that's about it for today. The heat's starting to cook my brain. I think it's about 90 right now. And uh, I'm going to go back in the air conditioning. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.